This is my official sorry for being crap on YouTube during December. I had so many ideas, didn't do them, let's not talk about it. But here is one of my favourite videos because I'm a nosy bitch. What I got for Christmas, and I'm not going to go off into this spiel about this is not showing after that, you know that, right? We're just nosy, we all know what everyone got. Do I save the best till last because I've got one of the best presents and I've not even tried it yet and I'm buzzing. An absolutely thrilling gift that I don't know why anyone wouldn't want one. A potato masher. I guess what colour it is. Go on, guess. Please don't make me do this. It's just a bit of fun! Have a guess! Go! If you don't know, I cut my own hair because I'm terrified. I've got into the hairdressers. And look at these. Aren't they just beautiful? And these are Sharpie England, if you were wondering. Sticking with the I'm a boring bitch, this is exciting to me theme. The excitement I felt for this thing wasn't normal and I did question my life. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm so excited. But it chops vegetables. Chops them. Do you know, do you know that's the worst bit for me? Is when you're, you've you got to make dinner, but you've got to chop everything up. Say no more. I'm hoping with this I can make the perfect mash. Failing that, I've got my gold masher. If anyone else lives an exciting life like me, I, I'll link this below for you. <laughs> my presents honestly sum up my personality. Next, this is so random. When they say that us conspiracy theorists get all our info off YouTube, well, no we don't, darling. We get it from a child's book. <laughs> don't ask, all right, don't ask. So we've got a space book for children and um, inside your body. Any of your children want these, they're quite good books. It's very interactive. Next is this white. Himalayan salt lamp. I wanted a white one because I think the whites will look good in my bedroom and then I'm going to put my more orangey one in this room so I think it will look better in this room. And if you haven't got a Himalayan salt lamp you need one. They're just so cosy. The perfect little reading light and I love it. I love it. Next we've got something that technically was from last Christmas because it was what I bought with my vouchers. Yes, I've only just spent my vouchers. And it is this scarf from John Lewis. I'm all about a thin scarf. So with my all for one voucher, I went in John Lewis and got this scarf and I love it. So if you like little scarves like this, get yourself to John Lewis. In fact, I saw loads of bits I liked in John Lewis. Oh, I also got this from New Look. Do I get this with a voucher? No, I've got a new look voucher though. I'll have a bit of new look dinner, darling. Another present that technically is from last year, but I've only just spent the vouchers, is some boots from M&S. Ta-da! Right, I've had my eye on these for ages and they were 30% off. So get yourself to M&S. They had really good boots this year. Love these boots. Love them. I've never had cream boots before. Oh, I just realised, look, the scarf and the boots go very nicely. Next, we have the Mrs. Hinch Little Book of Lists. Now, I'm not really, um, what do they call themselves? A hincher. I don't even follow her, but love a list. I'm assuming you're meant to write lists of cleaning stuff, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just write whatever I want. Here's an example of one of the pages, if you were wondering. Ta-da! We've got some perfume. And do you know what? If you'd said to me... Abra, 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 <laughs> easy for you to say. Abracom, Abracom, Ab, Abracom. If you had said, oh yeah, this perfume smells good, I'd be like, mm, does it? Trust me, trust me, daddy. It smells so good. Let me do the worst description ever for you. It's a nice bottle as well. It's got like a fabric bit here. Lovely jubbling. Fresh, but oody. And then sticking with perfume. My favourite of all, Prada Candy. My favourite nighttime perfume, or if I'm going somewhere nice, I smell, this is me. If you're wondering what I smell like, I smell like this. So we've got a tiny little Diddy Jo Malone. How adorable is that? Body wash hand gel thing. Can you read that? Focus Cannon. This smells amazing. Is that men's? Cologne Intense. I don't know, but it smells so good. I don't even care if it is men's. I'd like that in a candle, actually. What next? What next? Here. Ooh. <laughs> Matching exercise mat. Cute. What are you thinking I should put these by my bed? And if anyone tries to break it, I'm just gonna... You're done. 
year down. I need a mat because I always end up working out in my bedroom and it's just not big enough. So I need to be in here, get my little mat out. I might start doing some yoga. My little sister thought this was amusing, but I was saying that I want to do 30 before 30, but I'm not going to be able to do it before I turn 30. So I'm thinking 30 before 30 in the year that I turn 30, which is <laughs> next year. <laughs> And one of them is I really just want to be able to do a headstand. Like, I just want to, with ease, someone be like, do a headstand. I'm like, whoop, whoop. You know what I mean? Just erect on my head. That's all I, I just want to be erect on my head. <laughs> Obviously, with these little 5 kg I'm going to, I'm going to achieve that. <laughs> Fucking hell. I've had a couple more gifts since the video was filmed. Some little, I don't know how to describe them, like little cards, but look how cute it is. So they've got some brain dump cards with like a little quote at the back. Goals, habit tracker. There's just loads of different bits. It's really cute. I don't know where this is from. Oh, here's a little description. Take care of your mind, body and soul with a wellness journal. This is one of them jokey gifts that I will genuinely use more than I should. This is how I would have started this bit of the video if I didn't look like an absolute foot right now. And I've also got this book. I don't know if anyone's heard of like the chimp mind. Start listening to this on Audible. But because it has like loads of little bits like this, I feel like it's harder to understand on an audio book. So the actual physical book I think is better for this. Some little bonnets. So I want to stop putting my hair up. I've literally got little short bits at the back of my head. And Naomi's used this and she said that um, it doesn't slip off and stuff and it means you stop putting your hair up. So this is what I'm going to start wearing to bed. Hopefully it stops my hair breaking off at the back. I've always looked at these online or like a silk pillow and stuff and I've never actually... I think there's too much choices. So I'm glad that someone's like tried it and tested it and bought it. And hopefully I can stop waking up to this frizzy wreck. Thank you to whoever reminded me about the Urban Decay All Nighter. I used to use this and completely forgot about it, but it's so good. So after I put my last vlog up, which if you haven't seen it, please watch it. It was actually so bloody funny. Is that a boat? <laughs> Is that a boat? Fucking hell. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and it did absolutely crap. YouTube keeps telling me, your video has been viewed less. People are less interested. And I'm like, bitch. Although saying that, did anyone else get really overwhelmed with Vlogmas and just stop watching YouTube? Because same. Yeah, anyway, after that vlog, I said on my Instagram stories, someone can teach me how to not look like a toe when going to London all day. Please let me know because my meathead in that video was just too much. Someone was like, this. And I was like, oh my God, yes, I used to use this and forgot. Want your makeup to stay on all day and you don't want to look like a meathead toe in London. Or just anywhere. <laughs> Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is just a little mini one. You can get them bigger. But this actually lies... I don't know, yeah, yeah. This actually... Why oh, do I sound like a sim? This actually... Oh, fuck, you know. This actually lasts quite a long time considering the size. The standard but necessary Christmas gifts. I've got some slippers from Primarche. Random, but I loved the Rugrats when I was a child. I would still happily watch the Rugrats right now. And I got a little Funko Pop. Is that what they're called? Yeah, I got a Chucky one. <laughs> I actually do have two more of these, as you do. Is it even Christmas without soap and glory? No, it isn't. Got this set to get through, and and these just always look aesthetically pleasing in the bathroom and smell amazing. A little sanctuary spa set. It smells good in here. Just as soon as you open the pot, it smells bloody amazing. <laughs> A little cracker of Yankee candles. I tried not to eat these so I could show you. I got one of these on my birthday, and my stepmom made it. How cute is it? She used like this cellophane that has Christmas trees on it. Never seen this before. Are you ready? Are you ready, grand finale? What one's better? I'm literally a child, so the best one, I'm gonna say to a last, is the most childish, obviously. But this one, ooh, ooh. Saint Alain. <laughs> Why I sell bitches, but they've dropped the wine. Okay, so I was not expecting this at all. I honestly, not one part of me expected this. Oh God, something in my eye. I was actually gonna buy this for myself next year potentially because flirty, flirty and thriving, independent woman, don't need no man, I'm gonna treat myself. But then, what can you say? Someone else bought it for me and I'm not complaining. I felt like a proper like influencer knob. Like my unboxing, hey. <laughs> Pretending to be relatable, but I've got loads of money, more money than you. Do you know one of those? <laughs> I said, damn bitch. 
I'm joking by the way, love that for you. And it was honestly, I understand the unboxing videos now because it was unboxing, this was very fun. I'm acting like I've not unboxed it. I already have, obviously. There was like cute ribbon around it and I've definitely used it already and put it back in. But here we have my new card holder. Isn't she beautiful? I honestly am in love. The same, oh, let me just take my cards out. Hold on a minute, darling. Don't want any stalkers now, do we? I don't know why you're going to stalk me from a nectar card, but... <laughs> oh, my driving license, right. Anyway, this side, obviously, the gold. And then on the back, we have the same. And then there's, like, a little bit in the middle. I don't think you're meant to put anything in there. I'm not sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's my mummy, darling. <laughs> Bitch, better have my money. 10 out of 10 recommend if you're looking for a designer card holder. The only issue is I now want a bag to match. Oh, hold on a minute, I forgot one gift before we get on to the best one. You're looking at the gift boxes I'm gonna reuse next year. Aren't they very pretty? A tower of treats. Shortbread biscuit, br 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 shortbread biscuit, chocolate coated sandwich biscuit. Mm. Just loads of food that I don't need to eat because I've eaten enough. Do you know what, actually, I've not actually gone that overboard. Yesterday, I don't know what I'm talking about, I think I had like a peanut all day. A peanut? I didn't even eat a peanut yesterday. Right, okay, grand finale, grand finale. I got the dance mat. You literally just plug it in your telly. That's it. 110, built in. I can just hear it now in my head. This is my favourite gift, and I was holding at one point at Christmas, holding the blender and the dance mat, and I was like, this sums me up. It's the best one, I'm sorry. You can take, take back your YSL card holder, poke your Parada perfume, Give me a 90s dance mat any day of the week. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will be back removing the Christmas tree because I can't believe it's still up, to be honest. Comment below, is your tree still up? Is it down? When is this video even going to go out? Because I think it needs to go up tomorrow and I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I will link everything below. Thanks for watching. Sorry I've been crap. Missed ya. Love ya. See you later. I don't love ya because I don't know ya. Oh my god, look, can you see that pink glow? I need to show you the sunset. Looks insane. Can you see that? You can't see it. The, s the sky is bright pink. I'm lighting up pink, can you tell? I love sunsets. Look at that. Beautiful, mate. Oh, we're still zoomed. Bye! <laughs>